Hi there, it's Gabriella Rosa here again and I thought I would bring you back to my kitchen and teach you how to make a nut milk. Now, I do have a little bit of a confession to make. I am very lazy when it comes to having to pre-plan things like making a nut milk. So I never do. <laughs> I kind of make it on the spot. The best thing about making your own nut milk, one, it's super easy, it's super quick, it is super cheap to make your own, and it's super, it's much healthier than buying it from a Tetra Pak, right? Tetra Packs are those kind of like containers that inside they're lined with either aluminium or plastic and it, that all those endocrine disruptors are very detrimental to your fertility. So I really want to make sure that you avoid any of those endocrine disruptors by avoiding a Tetra Pak altogether and making your own. It's super simple and as I was saying, I'm very lazy when it comes to this. So I'm just going to give you the kind of cheats way of making your nut milk. So what you do is you get two parts of water to one part of nut and you can actually use any nut you want. It doesn't have to be an almonds. I'm using almonds. And the only thing that I would recommend, most nut milks when you go make it, they recommend that you soak the nut overnight. I never remember these types of things. And really, to be honest, who has the time, right? So what I do is I wash the nuts, make sure that they're rinsed because a lot of the aflatoxins or things that kind of are on the surface of the nut, like funguses that may grow on it, they basically get washed off when you wash with filtered water. Okay, and this is filtered water. You must only be drinking filtered water. If you don't have filtered water, make sure you drink, uh, make sure that you buy a, like a filtered water in a bottle uh, if you can't help it. But essentially, a water filter in your kitchen is one of the best investments that you will ever make. So then you, you rinse these and all you do is literally put it in your blender. So I'm gonna put in my nuts and then my water, as I said, two parts to one part. So two parts water to one part nut and close it. And you're going to blend for about three minutes, okay? So let's get that happening. Okay, so that's been three minutes and our nut milk is made. Now, ordinarily, you would probably read in recipes that you can strain it with a nut milk, milk bag. I don't do any of that. Like I said, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to these things. So literally, three minutes is enough for it to be very homogenous. And you'll see, I'll just pour it in here. You wanna make sure, look at how creamy and delicious that looks. Now, if you wanted a little bit of a treat, when you're blending your milk, you could add a couple of dates um, to the mix. And you could also add a little bit of vanilla essence if you wanted to. And you will be able to store this for a couple of days in the fridge. So you just get a glass jar, put it in. You can use this for cereals, you can use it for smoothies, you can use it for anything that you would ordinarily use milk for. Okay, because we know that a fertility diet is best to be gluten free and dairy free. Hence why making your own nut milk might be a really good way of going about things. And you know, and then you just basically close it, put it in the fridge or use it straight away uh, and, uh, and enjoy. Now, one thing that you need to know about um, nut milk, and this is another little tip that I'll give you. When you're making a smoothie, you don't actually have to go through the process of making the milk and using that. What I do is whenever I'm making a smoothie and I'm gonna use about a cup of water, I put about a quarter of a cup or maybe even less of nuts and water into the, into the blender and put my other ingredients in there and just blend it. So that way the nut milk gets made whilst you're actually making the smoothie itself. So it's a really good fast tip that you can use to just speed the process of eating and drinking really healthy food that will optimize your fertility. So I hope that helps and until next time, bye for now.